In this video, we're going to look back at what you learned in units 6 to 11 and look ahead to what you can expect from units 12 through 15. In the previous section of this course, you learned how to prepare and deliver business presentations, including realizing that not all presentations are formal ones produced for large audiences. From sound bites to meetings to media interviews and viral messages, you examine the many forms that public speaking presentations can have. And you should automatically recognize by now, for each type of presentation you encounter in this section, you need to apply your knowledge of the communication process, messages, and audiences to produce presentations that serve their purpose. Whether that purpose was informative, such as a presentation based on a report, persuasive, like a sales pitch or an elevator speech, or entertaining, like a toast, serving as the master of ceremonies, or developing certain types of viral messages. Many of the presentation types you encountered in this section also made you have to think carefully about the audience's needs and expectations. A good example of this is the soundbite. If your business is seeking attention through the media, you may look for or produce soundbites or other forms of quotations that would attract the media's attention. But if you analyze this communication situation thoroughly, you'll realize that your message actually has to serve two audiences the media and the media's audience. However, the media's criteria for a useful soundbite, such as length, relevance, or credibility, may not be the same as the audience's criteria for noticing or remembering them. For this type of presentation, you must understand how both audiences respond. Now we'll look ahead to the last part of the course, units 12 through 15. You should anticipate dealing with some very challenging communication issues that test a communicator's ability to respond effectively. For example, you'll learn how to respond to negative news and crises, and also how to communicate effectively in very difficult situations, from press conferences to interpersonal relationships to workplace conflict. This section will also examine the impact of culture and management on business communication, including diversity issues and workplace culture. Finally, this course will conclude with an examination of the kinds of communications that enable people to work effectively in groups or teams. Now you may find as you go through these units that a lot of this material may be unfamiliar to you. But don't let that deter you. Keep in mind that businesses have to deal with a far wider range of situations than individuals. And an effective business communicator doesn't have to be a master of all of these situations. You just have to know that they exist. This knowledge will enable you to better assess a communication situation and craft a message that suits the situation and the audience appropriately. You're almost done and best of luck.